Hi there, my name is Kayla Jera and I'm a graduate student in the Barbar Lab from Oregon State University. And today I'm presenting my poster at the Protein Society about protein disorder in the reconstituted dining complex. Um, specifically the subcomplex that deals with the cargo attachment domain of dining. So here I have a kind of a general cartoon of what dining looks like. It's a very large motor protein complex um, and our lab specifically looks at the intermediate chain. Um, which is the largest protein involved in um, what we term the cargo attachment subcomplex. So this is where a lot of the attachment happens when dining is carrying cargo throughout the cell. Um, it combines with a few other proteins, specifically the light chains of dining, which include LC8, LC7, and tc -tex. Um, and then it also binds some regulators, two of which we look at, um, P150 GLUED, which is a component of dynactin, um, and NUDI, so there are two proteins that previous work in our lab has shown that they bind to the same spot, um, and we've been interested in that for years. Uh, kind of the middle portion of my pro uh, poster goes through a smaller section of the intermediate chain, and then a significantly longer portion of that chain. Um, in the smaller section, we're kind of focused in on these helices at the end terminus, um, where both P150 and NUDI are shown to bind. Um, and we see that in Cotomium thermophilum, which is a fungus, um, we see that this binding is enhanced when this weaker second helix is present. So in various species, that helix is either strong or weak. And at least in Cotomium thermophilum, it's very important that that, bind that um, second helix is there. We see a dramatic change in binding to at least P150 in this case. With the longer fragment, um, by itself, we've seen that it has both ordered and uh, disordered segments. And then when we include the other three light chains um, over here, we see that we are able to reconstitute the whole subcomplex. Um, and that in the addition of a regulator, either NUDI um, or P150, we see that that um, binding of the whole subcomplex is stronger. Um, we're going on to um, kind of use various biophysical techniques to analyze that binding, um, and we're particularly interested in the amount of disorder that um, is retained in that binding. Um, so preliminary work has shown that even when the whole 150 Kugel Dalton subcomplex is together, um, we see quite a bit of disorder remaining. So that's pretty exciting, and we're looking forward to looking at that in the future and seeing how that interacts with other binding partners and just the dynamics of the whole complex.